Hello everyone. Today we are going to see question number seven to eleven of a trigonometric chapter in CRT textbook. In the last video, we saw question number one to five, and if you want to check out those, you can find the link in the description box, or you can go to the playlist of tenth class trigonometry. So, without wasting any time, let's start our today's class. So, our first question is cot theta equals to seven upon eight. And we need to find this one plus sine theta into one minus sine theta upon one plus cos theta into one minus sine theta. Before going ahead, you must be aware of the trigonometric ratios. Uh, let me just record it for you. We are learning it this way: sine, cos, ten, cos sec, sec. And cot. So these two are reciprocal of each other. These two are reciprocal, and these two are reciprocal. So try to learn the way uh, I'm telling you. That will be helpful in recalling the formula fast. With the tan, I have an association of tension. With tension, BP increases, and it is the reciprocal. So this becomes B upon B. So cot theta is B upon P. Therefore, I can say base is 7x because this is a ratio. This is a ratio. So this is nothing but in fact in multiple of 7 and perpendicular is 8x. So by Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. I can find out hypotenuse. So hypotenuse square will be 7x square, it is 49x square plus 8, 8 means 64x square. This will give us 113 x square so i can say that hypotenuse is equals to root 113 x square so x sorry hypotenuse equals to x root 113 so we got all three values base perpendicular and hypotenuse now before moving ahead you should be aware of these two uh, this one identity a plus b multiplied by a minus b this will give us a square minus b square this identity i will be using this in this particular question and if you want to know how we get this the geometrical proof geometrical proof of this identity because i know you have learned this thing but how it came uh, i have made a separate video on that uh, you can find that thing in the description box before substituting the values uh, sorry so after applying the formula i'll be getting 1 square minus sine theta whole square upon 1 square minus cos theta whole square. Now, before moving ahead, what does sine theta whole square mean? We need to think about this. Uh, before that, I would like to clarify that sine theta does not mean sine multiplied by theta. So this is the common error which a student um, misconception a student have that sine theta is sine into theta. When two things are joined together, that means they are multiple. No, sine independently does not mean anything in math. 
it has no meaning so sign without an angle angle a or angle b or sin theta they both coming together make something okay in coming videos we will be dealing with this in great detail because today our agenda is to solve the question not to go into detail of this so just try to remember that sin theta is a together term this is one term okay now sin theta square when i told you that this is the one term so either way i can write it this way or i can write sin square theta this way so we got this as 1 minus sin square theta upon 1 minus cos square theta now I am going to substitute the values for first of all formulas sin theta in the last video we learned what is the ratio of sin theta with sin I associate sin sin is something called pop pop a p upon a that's a mnemonic so it's, it has a square so It has a square, so I'll be putting a square. One minus cos. The cos uh, we used to play with the ball, Costco. Costco ball hai. Whole square. So I'm just going to substitute the values and solve it. So one minus p is eight x upon root 113x whole square divided by 1 minus b is what 7x upon root 113x whole square so this stays here This is numerator and this is denominator. So x and x got cancelled. Here x and x got cancelled. So I got 1 minus 64 upon root x square is x. Similarly, root 113 square is one one three so I will be getting one one three divided by one minus forty nine upon one one three taking the same one one three minus sixty four 49 upon 113 multiply by 113 upon 64 right what a reciprocal 113 113 got cancelled 49 upon 64 is the answer if you can if it can be reduced you can reduce otherwise this is the answer final answer second part is cot square theta Cot square theta is nothing but cot theta whole square and we know already cot value is 7 upon 8 whole square that is 49 upon 64 isn't it interesting first part is equals to second part 3 cot a equals to 4 so this kind of question we have already done uh, as question number four you can check that out i'm not going to discuss in, in great detail so uh, we have to prove this check 
in case of check what you do you solve lhs and you solve rhs and at the end like in the question number seven both the answer should come for same they should come same okay, question number nine if you want to see the solution of question number eight you can just comment in the comment box and i'll make a separate video for that because i don't want to make this video lengthy so moving on to the question number nine it is in n triangle abc right angle at b so that means it is a right angle triangle this is a right angle and they are saying right angle at b so take this as a and this as c now they are saying 10 a equals to 1.03 root 3. this place is for theta theta is where the angle is for the question so angle is at a so theta is here and in the first video we taught you that opposite to theta is perpendicular opposite to theta and opposite to 90 is hypotenuse and the third is base this information is important now uh, whether this thing is important to the question uh, i don't know because uh, they can still ask 10 theta then a is 1 upon root 3 and they can ask you to find sin a so this triangle is not important for this question but this understanding is important because when you visualize something then you are able to understand more now coming to the question tan is the uh, tension bp increases so therefore i can say perpendicular is 1x in books uh, they use k you can also use that and b is root 3 x i just want to take a familiar constant okay uh, so that you are not afraid of that base uh, we should find hypotenuse so hypotenuse is perpendicular square plus base square hypotenuse square is root 3x whole square so this is x square and this is root 3 3 x square so it becomes 4 x square and under root of that is 2 x so we got hypotenuse as 2 x So our question is to find sin A multiply cos C plus cos A multiply sin C. So we can find sin A because these ratios are according to angle A. But we cannot find cos C and sin C because we don't know those values. So let's try to figure out that thing. This is C, this is B. 90 degree A and now we know the values uh, according to this base is what root 3x and for this triangle perpendicular is what 1x and hypotenuse is what 2x is it clear now this time theta is changing earlier theta was here now theta is at angle c which means theta is here so for this thing perpendicular base and hypotenuse changes in the first video i gave you this question so if you are not able to understand this thing you should practice this and without practice maths is nothing if you are lying on the couch and watching this video 
it is not going to help you out so better you have a notebook and a pen in your hand do the questions along with me okay perpendicular is opposite to theta is root 3x base is uh, let's leave base hypotenuse is opposite to 90 that is 2x and the remaining part is base see p upon h and cos is a ball hai, b upon h make sure you take the value from here now plus now it is cos a again ball hai, b upon h don't take the values from this place multiply by sin c sin is power p upon h that's all now first of all substitute the values um p 1x upon 2x and i'm substituting here also b root 3x upon 2x here b is 1x upon 2x and p upon h p upon h is root 3x upon 2x isn't it interesting both are same that means these two are same if we change the angle so the, these are the formulas for class 11th so don't bother about that thing we are just substituting the values they give you these kind of questions uh, for two reasons first of all they are very easy second thing they may want you to uh, have a look at the questions which are going to come in class 11th also higher classes basically so moving ahead so these two are multiplied uh, first of all i'm just cancelling the x's x and x got cancelled this got cancelled one this is one into one one two into two four plus root three into root three root three into root three is nothing but root x into root x this is ninth grade chapter i have got done completely if you are afraid of root search you can watch the detailed videos so root x into root x is x that means root 3 into root 3 is 3 and 2 into 2 is 4 that is lcm is 4 4 that is 1 wow. so nice easy and p and r take anything anywhere p and r now this is a very very important question make sure you mark it very important now pr plus qr equals 25 let's write that thing. pr plus qr equals to 25 in exam most of this question comes let change your values or pqr instead of pqr they give you xyz or abc so make sure you factor this thing uh, and pq equals to 5 pq equals to 5 this value is 5 now whenever they give you this kind of thing and two value sum or two value difference is given or product is given anything we take one value as x let's take this value as x let's take pr equals to x so qr becomes 25 minus x isn't it QR becomes 25 minus X. So we got all the three values. Now determine sine P, cos P, and tan P. Sine P. So 
and what we want is just all the three values so we don't know x but we know all the three relations by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square hypotenuse is x square perpendicular square take any perpendicular because there is no angle given uh, 25 minus x whole square plus 5 square hopefully that is easy so before moving ahead you should know one identity of algebra this is a minus b whole square if you don't remember make sure you watch the video related to algebra of grade 8 a square plus b square minus 2ab i'll be using that identity here i'll just substitute it for you so that it is easy a is what 25 make sure you put brackets first 25 and b is what x see b is x a is what 25 and this is x 25 square is 6 25 plus x square minus 50x so i'll be using this equation so this is the equation i have substituted and 5 square is 25 in both the cases x square x square got cancelled so 0 equals to 625 plus 25 is 650 minus 50x taking minus 50x to the other side 50x equals to 650 x keeping here 650 upon 50 1 3 so we got the value as x 13 uh, if we look at the question carefully the question is in centimeter so x is in centimeter so we got this value as 13 and 25 minus 13 is 12 so 5 12 13 is our all the three values now we need to find sine p that means angle is here theta so sine is pop hai, p upon h p is perpendicular opposite to theta which is 12 and hypotenuse is 13 is the answer to the remaining parts of your own so they are saying tan a is always less than 1 you would say how would i know what is the value of tan a same question I had when I started studying about this thing. So think logically, what is tan A? Tan A is tangent BP. B P. Okay. What is BP? In a right angle triangle. Let's take theta is here. So P is here, B is here, and hypotenuse is here. Okay, cool. So is it possible that uh, this is always less than 1 that means if I cross multiply that thing P is always less than B it does not make sense the triangle can be longer or triangle can be longer this way the P can be smaller or P can be smaller so the first part is false hopefully it makes sense Now coming to the second part. Now you know how to think. So you can pause the video and think along. Now it is sec A equals to 12 upon 5 for some angle A. 30 degree, 40 degree, 45, whatever the value. But I don't care. I have to think along the ratio. Sec is reversal of sine cos tan cos x sec cot cos and cos is what ball hair ball hair is reverse reciprocal h upon b so 
12.5 hypotenuse base yeah this is possible for some specific angle which angle i really don't know so this is true this question number 11 third part in this uh, the question is cos a is the abbreviation used for cosecant of angle a so for the abbreviation part which i haven't discussed in the previous video and in this video so i'll be telling you all the abbreviations for all the ratios so sin is an abbreviation for s i n e cos is the abbreviation for cosine that means uh, cosecant of sine or you can say complementary of sine next is tan tan is tangent next is sine cos tan cosec cosec is cosecant next is sec sec is secant next is cot this is cotangent as you can see uh, cot is cotangent cosecant is cosecant cos is cosine that means complementary of each other you will be seeing uh, why the names are like this in the coming videos where we will be discussing about the trigonometric table so for this question the question was cos a is the abbreviation cos a is the abbreviation for cosecant which is false and one more thing uh, tangent is a very important question for example they give you a question like this sin a is 3 upon a find uh, 3 upon 4 sorry uh, sin a is 3 upon 4 find tangent a tangent of angle a something like this so tangent is nothing but tan a tan of angle a so coming to our next question it is cot a is a product of cot and a so which we have discussed in the beginning of the class that cot a is not a product of cot and a so this is also false next is uh, fifth part sine theta equals to 3 upon 4 for some angle sine theta is equals to 3 upon 4 sorry 4 upon 3 we know that sine is power pair p upon h and in a right angle triangle if theta is here perpendicular is here and hypotenuse is here and this is false why because hypotenuse is the longest side so this can't be greater than this therefore we can say sin theta cannot have improper fraction you have to tell me can sin theta be equal to 1 think about this we will be discussing this this kind of questions in the coming videos